Hello, my name is Paul Mosier. I'm with Takagi Tankless Water Heaters. We're in my basement here. We're going to look at what it takes to install a tankless water heater. There are four main categories when it comes to installing a tankless water heater for one of your customers. When doing a site survey, you want to keep in mind venting the appliance, your gas supply, your water quality, and your electrical connection. Let's start with venting. Tankless water heaters require a Category 3 stainless steel exhaust. The reasons are twofold. First, because tankless water heaters operate at a higher efficiency than tank type water heaters, they do have the ability to develop condensation along the inside of the venting. The stainless steel resists any kind of corrosion from that condensation. Second, because all tankless water heaters are power vented, every connection within the stainless steel piping is silicone sealed. This will prevent any carbon monoxide leakage. Because of the cost of stainless steel, it is recommended that you mount the heater in a position that will limit the vent run length. You could always run your copper and your gas line to the water heater at a much affordable rate. When installing a tankless water heater in cold weather climates, it is highly recommended to utilize a backflow damper as well as a vertical condensate drain. This will make sure that you do not have any cold air rushing into the heater from the outside also, you will expel all your condensation properly and away from the heater. Many venting manufacturers, such as this one shown, produce a combination unit that will provide for both. When terminating your venting, please follow manufacturer's instructions in regards to open windows and doors, air intakes for other appliance, clearances to snow lines, and adjacent buildings. Because venting has a limited adjustability, it is recommended that you install your venting first and then mount the heater to meet up with your venting. The next step in the process is the gas supply. When doing your site survey, please locate the entrance of the gas supply line from the meter into the home. Follow all accordances with the National Fuel Gas Code and all manufacturer's recommendations. In this instance, we have 199,000 B2 tankless water heater being installed. Already installed in the home is 110,000 B2 furnace 35,000 BTU tank type water heater, a combination oven stove, a fireplace starter, and a dryer. Based on our calculations, we have just under 200,000 BTUs already required within this home. By adding an additional 199,000 BTU requirement, we have now exceeded the limit of most gas meters that are installed in everyday homes. You can call your local gas company to have them upgrade your meter from a 200,000 BTU meter to a 400,000 BTU meter as shown in this example. Many, if not all, gas suppliers will provide this upgrade for no charge. While the gas company is at the house upgrading the meter, please have them check the manifold pressures of the system. Tankless water heaters require anywhere between 5.5 inches of water column to 10.5 inches of water column on natural gas, and slightly higher with LP. Please read your manufacturer's instructions to obtain the best recommendation on your installation. The next step in the process is connecting your water. During the site survey, please make note of the water quality within the home. If the home utilizes hard water, a water softener is recommended. Without it, you can develop scale within the copper heat exchanger. This will diminish the life of the heat exchanger, just like scale does to a tank type water heater. Although it is very easy to flush and clean the scale from a system with the set of isolation valves, as seen here, it is recommended a softener is used in hard water situations anyway. Most municipalities will operate between 4 and 8 grains per gallon. If you exceed 8 grains per gallon, please contact your local water conditioning specialist. To install the hot and the cold lines to the heater, tap into the current hot and cold lines, bring your cold water into the heater, and your hot water out. It's as simple as that. Most manufacturers recommend the use of isolation valves for servicing or cleaning. Most valve kits include a pressure relief valve. In some instances, municipalities will require the use of a pressure and temperature relief valve. If this is a situation, please put on a TNP valve and do not use the pressure relief valve that was included in the kit. When you're done installing the water lines, please bleed all the air out of the system and allow the system to run for five minutes. Afterwards, shut the system back down, remove the cold water inlet filter, and check for any debris or flux. If any is evident, please go ahead and clean the filter and replace it. 
you are now ready to move on to the next step. The last step is the electrical connection. All gas-fired tankless water heaters require the use of electricity to operate. The electricity is not used to heat the water, but rather run the controls that operate the unit. For example, the fan, the board, the spark igniter, etc. Most require 120 volt alternating current and run typically at less than half an amp. This is a very minimal draw compared to most appliances. Many manufacturers will include a pigtail or some kind of electrical connection to connect to. You can plug the pigtail into the closest wall outlet as seen here, or if you prefer to run conduit to your tankless water heater, you can do that as well. The last step in the process is startup. You've already bled the water lines. Go ahead and bleed the gas line. If you haven't plugged the unit in, go ahead and do so now. Find the nearest hot water fixture and turn on a hot water tap. You'll see that the first initiation may take up to 15 seconds. This is because the computer is running diagnostics on the system. Any subsequent initiations will only take anywhere between 6 to 8 seconds to get the water up to full temperature. At this point in time, you've completed the installation. Congratulations! Please take the time to point out to your homeowner some of the many advantages that they have gained by going to a tankless water heater, such as endless hot water with a steady temperature supply, the gas savings that they'll be receiving, and much more. From all of us in the tankless water heating industry, we thank you.